You're listening to the Ace and TJ Show podcast on the Ace and TJ family. MROstop.com is our Ace and TJ Show Plus sponsor with the largest inventory and lowest prices on hydraulics, pumps, fittings, and more. Call 877-852-8595 or MROstop.com. Delivered fast. MROstop.com. The been thinking about McDonald's all day. Can't get it off my mind. I can already taste it. Ooh, got my mind on my mouth and my mouth ready for some Mickey D's deal. There's a deal for every moment at McDonald's. Right now, get two of your favorites for just $3.50. Mix and match a classic McChicken, a hot and spicy McChicken, or a juicy McDouble. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Single item at regular price. Let's go. The Ace and TJ family presents Unfiltered, Uncensored, and Uninterrupted. Well, almost. Right here. Let's go. This is Share Funny from the Ace and TJ Show Plus. Man, people would laugh. Oh, wait. First of all, sponsored by uh, our friends at Paul Davis Restoration. Major cleanup situations that you... Uh, Need professionals to come in and handle for you. You know, like if somebody, it happens all the time where somebody would trip in your living room and then accidentally fall throat first onto a kitchen knife. Oh, my God. You know, Paul Davis come in and clean up, <laughs> clean up stuff like that or a flood or anything. Uh, man. The guy from Paul Davis is going to, if he doesn't already, he's going to really regret telling me that they clean up trauma situations like crime scenes and stuff like that. <clears throat> because that's all I can focus on now. And he even yeah. said, we don't focus on that with our advertiser. Well, yes, we do that. And that's all I can think about now. I told someone uh. that the other day, too. We were talking about, it was at a, a client uh, meeting. And I was like, yeah, our other client. I was like, and they clean crime scenes. <laughs> <laughs> and I said it just like that. Yeah, it's like when somebody tells you not to think of a blue elephant. <laughs> know, That's all like, I can uh, think of. Uh, oh, trauma? <laughs> yeah. Blood. And he didn't even <laughs> offer that up as you know part of the conversation. I asked him specifically if they do that kind of stuff. And yeah. he said, yeah, but it's not something we focus on with our advertising. But yeah, we do. We do that. And so I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> okay, I, I won't say that when I'm mentioning them as a sponsor. I won't put that as part of their sponsorship. And what have I done every day since every time. then? Trauma, trauma. They clean up trauma. I would apply for a job just to be able to go to one and then be you like, all right, I'm so done. Sick. <laughs> you would walk in there and heave all over yourself Not if I'm and wearing pass them. out. If you walked into a crime scene where somebody had, you know, blown somebody else's head off and I was matter all over the walls and... You don't think you'd throw up? Not if I had like a mask of some sort, oh, like something that covered my whole head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I couldn't see it, I'd be fine. Yeah, earmuffs and a mask, I'd be fine. No Nose clips. clips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could easily do that. Yeah, yeah totally. So anyway, go to uh, acetj.com slash Paul Davis. It, it doesn't have to be trauma. It's, you know, for fires and floods and smoke damage, all that stuff. They do it all. Mm -hmm. And you know what else? Mm. Paul love it. Paul, Paul love, love it. it. He do. So I, I was just thinking, as we're starting to share funny, people would laugh their butts off if they could hear how dramatic we are about needing the weekend. You know? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, they would. Are we they dramatic? Would say, Oh, God. Alexis, you have said 10 times you can't wait for to, you know, for the whistle to blow today at 10 o'clock. Oh, so you're going to go do this, this and this and not move and do that. Do that. And, you know, I'm, I do it, too. Oh, man, I'm so glad the weekend is here. And there are people, you know, that work much more physically draining jobs than we have that would come in and go, what? What have you done all week that you you need to relax and just unwind from? And I get it. And they don't understand, you know, how emotionally and mentally draining this job is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're so, you're so right. Exactly. Yeah. You're so right. Mm. I mean, we got it hard. 
it's it's I find the it's just the waking up. I wake up at three thirty, yeah. and that eventually you never really get used to that. But um, people always say you do though, don't they? Yeah, oh yeah. No. I guess you get used to it. Hey, no, no, you don't. Nope. No, you don't. And my thing is like, if I'm up at three, and then after we're done with the show, I'm like, well, there's still so much day left. So I'm like, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And by the time I get home, it's already like eight o'clock. Then that's not a normal person's schedule because normal person doesn't get up at three thirty. Right. So I'm just going, going, going. Mm. But then when you mm. get to stay talking, up. Talking, talking, talking. Mm. I, I love staying up. Oh, On a amazing. Friday, I'm like, oh, I'm going to stay up till one o'clock in the morning. I stay up till like four in the morning before I've turned old. No yeah, how many days a week, how many days this week have you taken a nap, Alexis? Only one. Really? Yeah. I've been going this week. I've been doing stuff this week. Mm-hmm. I don't say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, you haven't gotten a nap at all this week, have you? I have not. Whoa. I've been actually trying to avoid it so I can sleep better. Yeah, good for you. And you tell them what else you've done uh, every day this week oh, that was productive. Oh, that's right. That's right. Every night I've taken a shower. Wow. Every night. It's Rob. Not, yeah, he's not on his uh, every other night. Type well, I was I used every to, other day. Yeah, I used to take him in the mornings, and that's why that's typically why I would end up not taking a shower that day. Is because I get up and I'm like, oh, I, I can maybe sleep another fifteen minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so Alexis, why aren't you giving him praise for t- taking new steps and improving himself and new vibes and all that stuff for that? Because his big ass head should have already been taking a shower every day. What are you talking about? I'm not going to tell him congratulations for that. Hey, well, you went on and on about Ace growing and doing something just when he said he was going to go to a new th- new age kind of therapist. Uh, those are two different things. Are they? <laughs> uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very hypocritical of you. Man, Ace had to. <laughs> this is how professional we are now. Ace had to run home real quick to get a cable that Rob needs to hook up something. So he he's not in here right now, but uh, he'll be back in just a minute. He lives across the street in the jail. <laughs> uh, but he said he was in that place for three hours and fifteen minutes with that with that guru therapist or whatever she is hypnotizing him and all. And you know what I was thinking about that yesterday? That he's not fully involved in it because you guys make fun of him. And that's why he was like, I'm not going to fully oh enjoy my it. God. Yep. I was thinking about that yesterday. Because, it's our fault. Regans. Yes. He Is was, laughing at it, making fun of it? Is that what we're saying? Yes. Oh, okay. Well then, Yeah, you're right. So he probably would have done a lot better if you guys would have been maybe a tad bit more supportive. He sounded like he did fine. He was in there for three hours and 15 minutes. He said yesterday, all I kept thinking about was, I can't wait to talk about this to the guys. That's well, not us. That? Uh, that's him, <laughs> then. <laughs> I said it was a good thing that he's doing that. I've always encouraged. I encourage therapy. Absolutely. Yeah. But it is funny when somebody's like, Hypnos. I'm going to hypnotize you and <laughs> we're, I'm going to tap your forehead. Oh, like, I mean, I don't know. What, <laughs> what reaction am I supposed to have? It's funny. What if someday... We find out that there is footage, video footage from that session of him thinking that he's a chicken. (laughs) Running around clucking and flapping his. (laughs) She didn't hypnotize me. (laughs) It's like pecking at food on the Mm -hmm. desk. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just funny. That's what we do. We make jokes. It's the whole point. Yeah. Oh, I know. And when you get energy, bad spirits pulled out of your, your two hole, we're going to laugh at that. I know. That's why I shared it. Bad I knew spirits. what I was doing. Or whatever that. Bad yeah. energy. Yeah. Bad energy. Sorry. Mm-hmm. What does she do with it when she pulls it out of your butt? Is there a jar it goes into? I don't know what she do with the energy, <laughs> but Alexis love it. Alexis love it. I mean, she just like th- like a booger, like you smeared on the wall or something. Yeah, because like, it's got to go somewhere. <laughs> if it was in you and she pulled it out of you, that's yeah. a good point. Like, Where, what happens to it? You can't just discard it. Is there a way to turn that energy into positive energy and then put it back in your butt? You recycle yeah. it. I don't want no. You're not going to want to be part of it in my butt. You don't yeah. recycle yeah. butt energy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. If, <laughs> that's not as ridiculous as you know the whole concept of it. Anyway, if the concept is pulling bad energy out of you by pantomiming <laughs> <laughs> something. Pantomiming. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make the energy good once it's been in your butt, though? You can, Rob. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. Doesn't sound like good energy to me. Hey, I wouldn't be talking mm. about you just start taking a shower every day. That's bad energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not like I do yeah, strenuous your, your bad energy is just washing it off <laughs> exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> 
So uh, when are you going back for another one of those, what's it called, Reiki? Reiki. Reiki things where you lie up on the table and she runs her hands over you and pulls out the bad energy. Well, I asked, not, t- not touching you though, right? Yeah, she doesn't. Well, she does touch your shoulders, but okay. it's very light. Um, I asked her um, if I could be her apprentice so I can also learn how to be a Reiki mm-hmm. master. Yeah. So Man, you can't be all these goal. masters. So you're gonna be, you're I will. You're going to be a dungeon. a dungeon master and a Reiki master. Yes. All right. Whoa. So would you really want to do that? Would you really want to be, you know, fooling around close to somebody's balloon knot? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pulling energy out of it. <laughs> but we're not. Yeah. I don't like that. Why not? That's so ugly. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean it is. It is ugly. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? Oh my god! You're not ready, then. Yeah, that's I mean, ugly. Yeah, they got off. clothes on. Yeah, but still, I mean, <laughs> and, <laughs> not. And, <laughs> And is that something she can just teach you by being her apprentice, or you got to go to some kind of a school for no, that? No, she's certified to teach. Oh, yeah, who the she's hell is certifying that. <laughs> what kind of in, uh, institution is like? You're doing a real good job. Now, now pull the the spear out of the butthole, and they're like, "What? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's certifying that?" Oh god! You guys laugh now. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're continue gonna- to. <laughs> Yeah, it's my new thing. It's like my next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to learn how to do Reiki. All right, which one are you going to do first? Are you going to become a Reiki master first or a dungeon master first? Sounds like Reiki would be easier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like I have natural dungeon master skills, though. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking that same thing. As a matter of fact, when Ace and Adam and I had that, had a meeting to determine whether or not we were going to hire you after the, your interview with us, we all said that. <laughs> I think she's got natural dungeon master <laughs> abilities. Good. Well, I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what that's what sealed the deal for you getting the job. Yeah, it's organic. Right there in that chilies. <laughs> <laughs> they determine. <laughs> Put that on my business card. Dungeon master, Reiki master. Mm-hmm. What else? You know, Ace and I really did have a job interview with a big company, uh, and the interview took place at a uh, Dairy Queen in the middle of the day. Oh my God. We were just sitting in the Dairy Queen, and nobody else was in there. That's how all the big deals go yeah. down. Uh-huh. Next to a, a blizzard. <laughs> and a deli bar. Yeah, so it was a, it was a step up. We had not gotten fancy to be interviewing Alexis at a Chili's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's got good energy. Yeah. Dungeon master qualities. Yeah. yeah. Natural. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so good. Reiki master, dungeon master. Your um, your stock is rising. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should ask Alexis. for a raise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not just yeah, working we'll tell with... You to get, we'll tell you to get the money uh, the same place that lady's pulling the bad energy from. <laughs> 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 tell her to pull some money out of there with the bad energy. What is Ace and TJ Plus? Well, it's the Ace and TJ Show. Plus, plus loads of extras, like the Share Funny Podcast recorded live weekdays between 9 and 10 Eastern, available only on the Ace and TJ app. There's more Share Funny coming up. The new Ace TJ 5G Insider Newsletter is now sponsored by Deutsche Beverage at acetj.com slash beverage. Looking for custom design brewery equipment? Go to acetj.com slash beverage. Oh. Um, Mr. Kelly. Oh, hey, Sergeant. What's all this? With all the time I've been home, I put in a Zen garden. What an amazing place to balance your chi. It is. And with a personal loan from PenFed, I was able to borrow the entire cost, up to $50,000, at a great low rate with no hidden fees and a simple pre-qualify. But you're not in the military. Everyone gets great rates at PenFed, whether you're in uniform or not. I feel more enlightened already. PenFed Credit Union. Visit PenFed.org slash loans. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCOA. So, what is Ace and TJ Plus? It's the Ace and TJ Show. Plus, loads of extras, like the Share Funny Podcast, recorded live weekdays between 9 and 10 Eastern, and available only on the Ace and TJ app. Now, back to Share Funny. All right, so there were some some technical difficulties, some tech D-Rob difficulties. 
Uh, not really. It wasn't Rob's fault. Uh, at the end of the regular old show, today is um, the 29th, is that right? Yeah. Sunday is Halloween, so we got to do this now or it will be outdated by Monday. Uh, we were playing the classic audio of our friend Cubby going through a haunted house with Riggins. And it wouldn't play correctly on the show. We ran out of time, so we said we we're going to put it in Share Funny. <laughs> we'll put it right in Share Funny. Ugh. Uh, so before we get to that, know that uh, the One Star Strip Club reviews are still to come on the show today because we forgot yesterday again. Through our uh, our colossal professionalism, we forgot to do it on the day that we were supposed to do it. So uh, we'll see if it works. We've had to move Riggins' computer over toward the main control panel thing. Ace has Riggins' computer now because of a Bluetooth thing or something. We thought it was cutting out because the Bluetooth deal was too far away from Riggins' computer. Okay, so... It's broken up into clips, right? Yeah. It's not one one full swoop. No, it starts with Cubby uh, explaining his ground rules for going through a haunted house. I don't want people to touch me without my permission, writtenly expressed, or chainsaws. I don't like chainsaws or loud noises. I don't like people following me either or things that are devilish. I'm good with like scary stuff, like weird things, but I don't want you to chase me and follow me or touch me or come out with a chainsaw. Okay, one thing we, for, we forgot to point out was we were doing this thing because this was this was this the second time we had done this with Cubby? Yeah. We've been doing this thing way before Ellen started doing it. This is like nine years old. Yeah, way, way before anybody else was doing this. So I'm, you know, radio sets the the trends a lot of times. And that's what happened with this. And Ellen followed the trend. This is where they entered the haunted house. Oh, I don't like it. Well, there's somebody behind me. There's like nothing here. I don't like it. <laughs> Why are they being so mean to me? I don't like it. There's somebody going to come out from that wall. <laughs> There's a person on me. I, I feel it. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I can't. Oh, sh- <laughs> There's something going to come out of that wall. I know it is running. Huh. I don't. Oh God, that is spooky. I don't even. I don't even want to go. Go. Whoa. I can't deal. I can't deal with it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Run. Go. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> there's something in it. There's something in it. I know there's something in it. There's something in it. No, it's gonna be a lot of seconds. They're gonna track the trick us. Go. Please don't touch me. There's something in the corner and it's gonna pop out of that plant. There's something right there! Run, go, we're almost over. There's something gonna come over there and I don't wanna walk. One, two, three, run. Run. No, get away! Please don't touch me! Please don't touch me! There's the exit. Oh, there's supposed to be something out of that corpse. I can't take that. Where do I go? Where do I go? That's a problem. I knew it. Again, something's gonna come out of it. I know it. That's how they always do it. There's always something coming out of the can. <laughs> there's nothing in it. No, there's something over there in that can. There's gonna be something in that can that's gonna get me. Please don't get me. I hate cans too. Run. No, there's the exit. Hey, you guys stay for dinner? If you hate cans, you'll hate this oh, one. Oh my god, you're stinky and I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, pig. I hate you. Oh, 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 o
Get away! I don't like chainsaws. Oh, I can feel it. I don't like it. Ah! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh my God! Come on, pretty ladies. Where do I go? Come on, Stemples, let's go. <laughs> For this, I'm going to die. We're going to carve you up. No, I don't. Oh, I felt something on my hand. I felt like nasty. Oh. Hey, do you like to run? No. Because you look like you need to run. You know why? Why? Because you better stop now. That's why. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's Dookie in that toilet. <laughs> That's, That's my the, favorite part. The best yeah. line. There's Dookie in that toilet. That's the best thing ever. I've never heard that before. Something's going to come out of that wall. <laughs> <laughs> I hate cans. Yeah, who hates cans? <laughs> like, what? Always something coming out of cans. <laughs> I told you. Oh. And he kept going. I was walking backwards, like recording him. And he kept going. All right, one, two, three, run. <laughs> I'm like, no, we, I'm not, you can't run through it. It's pitch black in it. He's like, do you like to run? He's oh. like, no. no. Uh, thanks to Mandy, who just said, new drinking game. Take a drink every time Cubby says, I don't like it. <laughs> don't touch me. I don't like this. <laughs> Something's going to come out of that wall. <laughs> oh, there's Dookie wow. in that toilet. Wow. There's Dookie wow. in that toilet. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I still say that. Yeah. If somebody's gonna, if I'm playing with somebody, they touch me. Oh, don't, don't, don't touch. touch me. Don't, don't touch me. <laughs> and he loves every time we play that. Yeah. Cubby does. He loves it. Yeah. He found that. Yeah. And sent it to us. Because he, because that's the good thing about it is that he recognizes how funny he is when when we're making we're making sport of him that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I know it's funny. <laughs> it was terrible, but it was fun. God. Hated it. Yeah, he was legitimately terrified. Oh, that's how I would be, for sure. I think mm. we should uh, next year we should do me and Alexis in the haunted house because I don't think I can handle it very well. I need either. to wear a diaper though if I go. I'm gonna be honest or something. <laughs> oh, like you don't wear them anyway. <laughs> Shut up! No, I don't. <laughs> big old <ass> baby. <laughs> you know, big old <ass> baby. <laughs> I we just, somehow need to make a drinking game about how pretty that Mandy is that sent that DM a minute ago. Oh, yeah? Drink. Mandy's pretty. Drink. Well, Mandy. Mm-hmm. Sweet as candy. <laughs> that sounds like some DJ related. I don't know. <laughs> Mandy, uh, Mandy, sweet as candy. Yeah. Your name must be Mandy. Because <laughs> you sweet as candy. <laughs> mm. Uh, former Turner Adams. play that board game, uh, Mandy Land. <laughs> <laughs> former intern Adam wants to know, Riggins, how did you not wet your pants laughing at him? I was scared, too. Yeah, I wouldn't was, be able to do that. Yeah. I get so startled. He's, I hate haunted houses and stuff, but I don't know how you were able to walk through it backwards. It was scary. And, That's and the video thing, because that, you're going I couldn't through have done backwards. It. I went through backwards, weird. and I tried to let everybody know, like, we're doing a thing for the radio, and they were in on it, but yeah. that didn't stop them from trying to scare me. And trying to go through a haunted house with the turns and the everything it was it was scary because wasn't the chainsaw guy our friend wayne yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that sounds like someone that would have a chainsaw yeah, yeah. don't cut me wayne <laughs> i know that's you wayne <laughs> <laughs> i hate chainsaws i hate chainsaws I get it. Yeah, but you you got to know if you hate chainsaws that going into a haunted house, you're going to run into one. I mean, that's yeah, the yeah. ultimate fear. Yeah, there is no uh, way you get out of a haunted house without at least one good chainsaw. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, one of the scariest things I've ever seen in a haunted house um, was the, the, the year that there was one that TJ and I used to work with when we worked in Alexandria, Louisiana, and they took the front of a car and put it on rails. And there's a long section of this haunted house. It was in the mall. They'd opened up this empty store space in the mall. And you're walking through, and it's just dark. And all of a sudden, you hear a, a car crank. And then as you're walking through, it's totally in the dark. You hear that sound. And suddenly, lights come on the car. And it looks the real front of a car. And it's moving towards you. It was on rails. And when the lights come on, the car's already in motion towards you. And it will scare the crap yeah. out of you. No. Mm -mm. Oh. But you'd think you would literally lose control of your functions 
in your pants, Alexis? I am telling you 100%. Because you did. That's right. You did I, It's do happened. That. Yeah. And I know myself. Right. Even if I like didn't drink any type of liquid for two days, I would still find a way to pee myself. Mm-hmm. Like finds a way. <laughs> I bet it happens all the time. Yeah, you're thinking in those too, haunted houses. It's too late to get you to go through a haunted house this year. I'll yeah. do it, but I have to prepare for it. Oh, well, well I mean, not this year. Yeah. It's like the month of Halloween's in a few days. Yeah, but if you if you actually peed in your pants at the uh, haunted amusement park thing, then at least that was outside, though. And it wasn't even haunted amusement park. It was like Scarewinds. <laughs> like, well, it's not haunted. even haunted. Yeah. It's outside. <laughs> yeah, that's what it haunted. It's an amusement park. Oh, so. I didn't think it was haunted. Are you not familiar with what an amusement park is? I guess. I didn't think of it as haunted. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. They have yeah, like 14, a, 12, uh, 14 haunted houses out there. I didn't yeah, even make it into the park. It was literally right at the entrance, too. Because they had people, characters yeah. out there and all that? Mm-hmm. Just immediately. Wow. Right. Like after you, after I paid for my ticket. <laughs> literally after I paid for my ticket. I was mad. I was like, I need a refund. <laughs> yeah, because they don't refund that. If you, if no. you leave because you peed your pants because you got so scared, that's on you. Wow. wow. <laughs> paid your money, walked through the gate, a couple steps, somebody runs up. You are scared, pee your pants, and leave. Yeah. I tell one of my friends. I wasn't going to tell the whole group. Total time you were there? Um, Probably about 20 minutes. God. I think that included waiting in line to get your ticket. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Never again. Never again. But did you not have any experiences with haunted houses or anything before that? Never. I had never gone to anything like yeah. that before. How old were you? 22. Okay. So you had only... Well... <laughs> You hadn't been allowed to do any kind of yeah. celebration of Halloween or any fun activities or anything because your religion, you know, and you got out of that at 18, right? Yeah. And then so. I and then I felt like if I went to that before 22, if I went to something like that, then I was going to get haunted and I was going to bring evil spirits into my house or something like yeah. that. So. So what made you figure out that that wasn't going to happen? I don't know. I think I was taking a chance. Like if I get haunted, oh, well. <laughs> So she didn't yeah, bring any spirits into her house, but she brought some soiled jeans. Yeah, you're gonna, you, you get in there, you're going to catch the damn haunted. Yeah. Is what's going to happen. You're going to catch haunted. You think COVID bad, huh? <laughs> you, you test positive for haunted and your ass is doomed. <laughs> Done for it. You think COVID's bad, huh? <laughs> 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 All right, so um, Riggins, you ready for the day late? Hopefully, not a dollar short. The strip club reviews, maybe a dollar short. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's okay. do it. We'll do that next. Share funny from the Ace and TJ family. More, more next. When your celebration of life is prepaid in advance, it becomes a gift from you to your family later, because no one should have to plan for a loss while they're experiencing one. Paying in advance protects your loved ones and gives you the peace of mind you deserve. Let us help you plan every detail with professionalism and compassion. We're your local Dignity Memorial provider. Find us at DignityMemorial.com. Share Funny has its own Facebook group. To join, search Share Funny and get more. Now more Share Funny from the Ace and TJ family. (laughs) All right. Today is not Thursday. Well, unless you have downloaded this and you're listening to it on a Thursday. Uh, the time of this podcast airing is Friday, 9.32 a.m. Eastern. And uh, we're a day late again with our weekly strip one-star strip club views because sometimes we just get carried away and we have fun and we don't remember things. So that tells me that yesterday's share funny must have been really good, oh, yeah. really funny. That's right. I don't remember anything about it, but I mean, we can go by that. Uh, so, not that it got bumped to Friday; it was just held until Friday for this week. So you get a double dose of goodness. Riggins One Star Strip Club reviews. Yeah, we go across the country. Uh, real. One star strip club reviews from the internet. You can go verify these for yourself. I have changed the names on a lot of these guys just to protect their privacy, but they po- post their full name, so I don't feel bad if yeah. if I make a mistake every once in a mm-hmm. while. Uh, and we will start in Anchorage, Alaska. 
which is in, we don't get a, we don't there aren't many strip clubs in in Alaska, but this is one of them. Club Sin Rock in Anchorage, Alaska. Greg left a one star review. I got ignored by most of the girls all night, and the dance prices are higher than most clubs in Vegas. Not worth the money for moderately attractive Alaskan women. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. And then we can go to Springfield, Missouri, a place called Soft Tales. Uh, Lawrence left a one-star review. You can tell that there are hard drugs being used. Mannerism's not natural at all. I mean, we all got problems. Who am I to cast judgment? But that's not my preference. <laughs> <laughs> mannerisms aren't normal. Awkward mannerisms. I can tell. Uh, then we can go to Denver, Colorado, PT's show club. Brad left a one-star review. The strippers and employees seem to have more than one job there. One is stripping, the other is drug dealing. If you want any type of classy woman, do not come to this club. If you want to feel like you've gone to a third-world country where no one eats and there's questionable plumbing, come to PT's show club. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a side note it gets abnormally humid in there both upstairs and downstairs one star you humid you they left the windows over maybe you're if you're uh i don't know it's denver you wouldn't normally yeah. consider denver to be I a humid so place either, yeah. which mm -hmm. makes it abnormally humid and uh, then we go to miss kitties in st louis missouri dan uh, left a one-star review. I was robbed here. Stay away from this dangerous ghetto place. East St. Louis is not where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> Who said it was? Who said it was? Yeah. Like, you got to go to East St. Louis. <laughs> hey, that's where it's at. That is not where it's at. Then we can go to the Gold Room in Stone Park, Illinois. Uh, Dave left a one-star review. Bouncers were rude AF. Love that. It was just sad. Honestly, I felt discriminated against for being white, even though <laughs> <laughs> even though I am Native American and believing the melting pot. It's sad what the world is becoming. I love you all. Shame we don't love one another anymore. <laughs> I wonder what <laughs> happened. I don't I got, know. I, got, I didn't even know what happened. Yeah, all of that comes out of a, a, a visit to a strip club. I felt discriminated against for being white, even though I am Native American. Yeah, I love you all. <laughs> I love you all. It's a shame we don't love each other anymore. Yeah, I'm with you, TJ. What happened to that guy? Yeah. Uh, then we can go uh, Sassy's in Portland, Oregon. Ew. Yeah, right. Pete left a one-star review. The bouncers will pepper spray you with no legal purpose or warning. <laughs> <laughs> I should find hard to believe. Right. You're right. They just, yeah, they're having a drink. They just walk up. <laughs> oh. Uh, I now believe every bad review on here. It's not just negative hype. If you're in the mood for a strip club, skip this one with no remorse. One star. <laughs> yeah. It's not like they just do it like they're walking around with a super soaker having fun. Just say, you know what? Let's get this guy. Yeah. Tap you on the shoulder. You turn up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he did absolutely nothing to warrant being uh, pepper and I pepper assume, sprayed. I assume most of these guys that leave one star reviews were acting. Yeah, not yeah. not right. Mm -hmm. but, but if you're gonna get, what if you got uh, pepper sprayed by security? And it was just a warning shot. She's like, "All right, then you can stay. Next time we have to pepper spray you, you're gonna have to leave." <laughs> just kind of a little, yeah, yeah. A little. <laughs> Uh, All right, that's your first warning. Yeah. Go wash your face. Come back. She'll finish dancing for you. <laughs> Chill out. Uh, then we can go to <laughs> Temptations Gentlemen's Club in Winter Haven, California. And just this is a heads up. This is a one-star review from somebody who hasn't been there yet, which I always love. Joe left this review. I have not been there yet, but I am planning on going tonight. If there's any woman who will dress up like a secretary, closed toe heels, stockings, et cetera, et cetera, I will buy five dances. <laughs> what? <laughs> so just putting it out there. So he wants closed toed heels. Closed so he's toe the heels. opposite of a foot fetish guy, I bet. If you got like, a woman I don't like feet. I don't want feet. Clearly a secretary fetish type yeah, guy, yeah. not a foot fetish type guy. If there's any woman there <laughs> who is willing to dress up like a secretary, closed toe heels, stockings, et cetera, et cetera, I will buy five dances. <laughs> so, okay. Please do not come. Uh, then we can go to Showtime Joe's in Springford, Springfield, Missouri. Mark left a one-star review. All of the dancers are our 
excuse me, all of the dancers are on hard drugs. I would pass unless you want a tweaked out junkie grinding, grinding on your junk. <laughs> they also steal from the customers. 10 out of 10 wouldn't go there or centerfolds. Centerfolds is like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then another one from Showtime Joe's Terry. All of the girls are druggies or alcoholics. They date their patrons and are asshole ugly. <laughs> the lot of them. <laughs> the lot of them. The lot of them. I would recommend this place as a last resort. <laughs> so he would go back. He would go back. Yeah. That's, there's yeah, nothing else. Now. Even if they're asshole ugly, which I love. I <laughs> yeah, love I'm going to start using that. Yeah. Where was that in? What town? Uh, Sp- Showtime Joe's Springfield, Missouri. Okay. In case you're ever up that way. Yeah. Uh, then we can go to Platinum 84 in Denver, Colorado. Uh, Kyle said, if you want to give away money for no reason, then this is the place to go. You can give a server money and not only get drinks, but not get drinks, but also lose all your money. Also, half the girls look like they should be on the sex offender registry. One star. What? <laughs> <laughs> girls on the sex what does he mean yeah. by that all the guys uh, I don't hmm. know. Uh, texas jays gentlemen's club milwaukee wisconsin this place is a total waste of time the dancers never even got topless isn't that the point all the dancers sitting at the bar doing nothing managers at the phone at the bar sitting on there on his phone we were there for an hour and didn't see one titty don't go <laughs> <laughs> i kind of don't blame him yeah i mean you pay one. a door charge and you don't yeah. see any boobs the entire night it's just that one that sentence we were there for an hour didn't see one titty not don't go one titty okay. not even one one pair of titties yeah. just one titty not I don't know. one uh, Okay. Not the slightest hint of an areola to be found. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. Those are the ones that are clever. I like that. Yeah. I want to know what he meant that they look like, that the women look like they should have been on the sex offender. I might have said that wrong. He said the guys. Also, half the guys there look like they should be on the sex offender registry. Okay. But you're right. I mean, what does a woman look like? Like, can you pinpoint what a woman on the sex offender edge? Probably hot, because they're usually teachers. Yeah, the, the ones that go with the man boys. Yeah. But yeah. isn't that isn't that the uh, the case where most people can't see themselves of what they really are? Absolutely. He's gonna walk into some raggedy ass strip club and then say that everybody else is a loser. Yeah, and ugly. <laughs> yeah, they all do that. Uh-huh. Barely any tens there. It's like, well, dude, look at you. <laughs> how many tens would be in any like some of these towns though that they exactly. come from like, exactly you know. you're in cedar rapids iowa mm-hmm. or you're in milwaukee wisconsin i mean those are a st- sturdy breed of people like i don't know that <laughs> salt of the earth salt of the earth absolutely but, you know has a miss wisconsin ever won you know the miss usa or miss america I pageant don't know, i don't, I don't know, know. But that thing, I'm not saying that they're all ugly, but you just don't you just don't picture the women from there being, you know, like you would if they said it from Miami. Or, exactly. I think Greg from Anchorage, Alaska, was the one who got closest. He said it's not worth the money for moderately attractive Alaskan women. Yeah. Like he got <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, these are um, recognize where you are. Yeah. Right, because he he was uh, he was expecting moderately attractive at alaskan women and he went and said okay that's what i got but it wasn't worth the money exactly it wasn't even as good as i thought it was going exactly to be. what i'd like to know about that though is he putting for example they're moderately attractive for uh alaskan women say alaskan right. women could be lower you know realize alaskan women aren't your they're not the upper echelon. No. Alaska women in general are here, and then this is middle of the road for Alaska women, which would be down here somewhere. Moderately yeah. attractive. But let me tell you, I really, really enjoy that show, Life Below Zero. Mm-hmm. I really love that. And I have yet to be watching an episode of that and go, oh, here comes that fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> Share funny, a part of Ace and TJ Plus on the Ace and TJ app. More next. 
Hey, Jen, we need to sell our home. Do you know a great agent? I do. We just sold with a local Redfin agent. It was awesome. And we paid a 1% listing fee because we bought our new home with Redfin, too. Wow, 1%. Are Redfin agents full service? Totally. Our Redfin agent did it all, and we sold for thousands more than the home next door. I'll check out Redfin today. 1% listing fee when purchasing with Redfin subject to minimums, terms, and conditions. Does not include buyer's agent commission. Learn more at Redfin.com or call 844-759-7732. Welcome back to Share Funny, a part of Ace and TJ Plus on the Ace and TJ app. Oh, some nerd news here. I don't know if you've covered this in your podcast this week, Rob, the nerd news podcast. But from what I understand from people talking about it, that you don't do anything but watching TV. <laughs> okay. Talking about, talking about damn Marvel and all that. That's what Alexa said. She don't listen. Yeah, well, that's what she said. Mm-hmm. Nosy ass. Alexis. Whatever. <laughs> but there's a team at Texas A&M that's working on a new touchscreen technology that will let you feel the texture of what's on the screen. So they say the one use for it would be online shopping. So if you wanted to feel a shirt before you buy it, you would be able to see what it feels like. That, to me, is absolutely amazing. Um, it says the initial version may be available within five years. But you, so you can't see how the shirt fits. You just no, only but see you can feel feels. the material. Because I've okay. said that a lot about yeah. you know sometimes I would rather be in person buying something because I want to feel it. Now, while that's what they're you know they're promoting as the main um, purpose of this technology. You know good and damn well what is going to be happening with yeah. that technology mm-hmm. the most. It is going to be feeling the su- soft, supple skin of whoever's on the camera that you're looking at on your computer or your device. Right. Because porn sets the stage for the rest of the world's technology. I mean, if there's something that they have new in the pornography world, yeah, then the rest of the 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 country has to catch up to it yeah and they're going to be attachments that go with yeah, that it's and crazy mm. crazy i'm just looking to buy some linen that's all i, I mean if i want a <laughs> linen shirt that's all i care about and if a, a you know online that i'm looking at the shirt the girl that's wearing it takes it off and throws it in my face that's how you then feel that's it? how i feel it <sighs> you know but that is just i mean just think about that. That's going to be more reason for people not to leave the house. Yeah. That's the way things are going. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. Not a good thing. Who says? I say. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how that could work. Yeah, I think that's BS. Mm-hmm. And it's Texas A&M. Yeah. You know. Well, they know. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I'm not sure what you mean by that, because that seems to be a pretty solid school. Mm. <clears throat> what do they know about feeling things on a screen they don't know yeah <laughs> i think they're doing the the, uh, the lawn maintenance yeah. out there oh my god Can y'all hear that rob's trimming <laughs> his pubes Ew. <laughs> that's disgusting oh, i'm glad you said that riggins because we need to do a manscape <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect yeah, timer that, is, that, just, right that reminded me of that yeah so that the noise that you're hearing in the background is not man the Manscaped 4.0. It's, no, it doesn't it's much sound quieter. doesn't sound like it's that. Much quieter. If it did, if it did, nobody would want it in their house. <laughs> not you, like you, that at all. You couldn't do it without your significant other mm, knowing about it. That's no. for sure. Right. So if you uh, <laughs> if you walk in and your guy uh, is saying he's using the Manscaped and it sounds like a weed eater or a blower of some sort that you would use in the yard. Uh, bust in there and check on him because he's doing something else. Doesn't require a backpack, you know, that goes with it, a jet pack. Uh, the Performance Package 4.0 from Manscaped is uh, is great because it has a whole lot of great stuff in it because the products are uh, delicious from Manscaped. Uh, it comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, which has that, you know, advanced technology. So, you know, you cut down all the the nicks and cuts and all of that. And it's not funny when guys have that. Women think sometimes that it is, but it's not. 
It's very painful. So that's why Manscaped is different than the others. It's got the Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, the, the, the deodorant for down there, the toner from down there, you know, in case you just want to blend the skin tones together, the sure. colors of the skin. No, it's not like makeup toner. Then you got the uh, boxer briefs and a travel bag, all in the Lawnmower 4.0 um, um, performance package. That's what that's called. So you get 20% off and free shipping when you use the promo code ACETJ at manscaped.com. So do that. Get 20% off and free shipping by using ACETJ as the promo code at manscaped.com. And um, really, you'll love it. He'll love it. The neighbors will love it. I mean, everybody will be impressed when they see how well the Manscaped 4.0 trimmer works on your man and the results that he will get. Do before and after pictures for your internet, <laughs> yeah, you know, for your social medias and all. Put in your story. No. Yeah. You know, what do you call it? Um, um, progress pictures yeah you know like when you lose your first 10 pounds put a picture of that you know the next one but yeah you know this is what he looked like before <laughs> before he hit his junk with the yeah. uh, manscape 4.0 and this is what he looks like now july 4th 2022 mm-hmm. Sorry. Halloween yeah. 2022. So boomerang your balls. <laughs> Ew, mm-hmm. don't boomerang your balls ever. <laughs> TikTok your testing. <laughs> TikTok your testing. Uh, Never a good idea, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you could draw like a um, like or design, um, you know, a wolf man beard in it for Halloween. <laughs> 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 Make it look like a pirate down there. I didn't dress up, but my balls mm-hmm. did. <laughs> hey, you got to guess my costume. That's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, this is the schnauzer face. <laughs> the schnauzer face. <laughs> We just got a great DM from a lady. It says, my name is Audra. I listen to your show every morning with the Ace and TJ app in my car on the way to work from Alaska. Oh, no way. Wow. I always listened when I lived in North Carolina. And once I moved, I searched for a way to continue to listen. Absolutely love y'all. Nice. Thank you, Audra. We absolutely love you and your very kind message. It's a bold move. Mm-hmm. NC to Alaska. Don't you have a friend that lives in Alaska, Ace? And you said that he says it's really nice out there. Yeah, my cousin lives in Alaska. Oh, your cousin. My second cousin. My oh, and the guy we used to work with, too. Moved back. He just sent us a message. Oh, he did? He, and then he just moved back. But yeah. Uh, my cousin is a doctor. Not a medical doctor. A scientist. Scientist. Uh-huh. He worked for the, for the parks department in he, northern Alaska. He's from where you're from? He's from, he's from closer to where TJ's yeah. from. He's from Tullus, Louisiana. Yeah, his mama was my second grade teacher. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got scientists coming out of there? She was bad, too. Mm. Yeah. He's, I know. <laughs> yeah, he's quite smart. <laughs> what? what? I know. You do believe there's a scientist who come out of Tullus, Louisiana? No, I mean, hey. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's the one that was telling me how they have to put, uh, you know, you have to put a, they have a blanket, these electric big blanket things you have to put over your car uh, engines to keep them from freezing oh at my night. God. And, um, yeah, all that stuff. He lives two hours from the grocery store. So when it, when they they have to plan their grocery store trip and they go in the truck and load down the bed of the truck to go from they where he lives. Don't have Postmates out there, huh? No, they do not have Postmates. That sucks. And he lives in that part where it, where it, uh, you know the the sun of it stays up pretty much. There's a time of the year where the sun mm-hmm. stays up. And he's at like eleven o'clock at night. He lives above the river, and people will be out riding the rapids in the river and all that kind of stuff below the house because it's still daylight. Yeah, that would throw me off. Mm-hmm. Be daylight all day. Oof. Yeah. He lands on. He goes out and researches like icebergs and stuff like that. Bullshit. <laughs> sorry, yeah. don't, sorry, don't sorry. believe it. <laughs> you no, lied. He researches. He researches iceberg turds. <laughs> Whatever that means. You don't know what that means. Float- <laughs> Floaters. No. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Uh-huh. It's it's 
too too gross, but it's yeah. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all are disgusting. <laughs> are you looking it up, Ace? Iceberg, no, I'm looking iceberg up. Turds. I'm trying to look up my. Oh, he's looking up his cousin. Look I'll look it up. Yeah. Iceberg turds. Mm-hmm. That's what he did when he was. You know, he said, uh, "How you gonna get a prom date?" <laughs> I'm looking up my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I just found him in a Yahoo article from my, last year. My cousin is all over the damn internet now. I mean, he's all over it. He's a scientist. I think I'm just reading now. Technically, he's a geologist. Yeah. That means he studies the rock. He studies the rock. <laughs> he's a, he's the rock's biographer. Number one fan. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool, though. Oh, man, mm-hmm. I just looked up iceberg. I regret looking at it. It's pretty gross. Yeah, I don't. Don't every any time that they say something, I don't know what it is. I'm always like, I don't know if I'm gonna look that up. Oh my god, we gotta go. He's gonna bring that damn blower right into this room. <laughs> it sounds like. It. Yeah, we can do it right now. It's like he's right in the room with me. Yeah. So far, right? I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> yeah. And he's actually blowing leaves up onto the window. He's right there in the uh, in the flower bed. <laughs> it just blew my hat off. <laughs> <laughs> the Share Funny Podcast is a production of the Ace and TJ family. To get more Ace and TJ 24-7, download the Ace and TJ app. Just search for Ace and TJ in your app store. All Share Funny material, copyright ATJ Incorporated 2021. Want to know the secret to a great night's sleep? It's purple. Why? Because only Purple mattresses have the Gel Flex grid. It's the reason why Purple mattresses are soft where you want it, firm where you need it, and instantly respond to movement. The Gel Flex grid flexes around pressure points to support your whole body, no matter how you sleep. Plus, the Gel Flex grid is 80% air. It breathes, so you're not too hot or too cold. Learn more about Purple mattresses and the Gel Flex grid at purple.com. Purple, reinventing sleep.